Hello everyone and welcome back to the North Star Legacy, our Sims 3 Supernatural Legacy using all expansion packs and a ton of custom content. And we are here with Gina and Darian and their are mini mini squid. Look at all these adorable squids. Oh my gosh, there's a little octopus and there's a little hermit crab. And look at how many squid we have. We could probably sell off a lot of these guys. I love that the animals actually breed inside the aquariums now. Oh my gosh, and look at all the toads in the background. That is the best thing in the world. I am totally in love. Totally in love. <laughs> I like it. I like it. But we are here with Gina and Darian, and Gina is currently comforting Darian because he is coping with the fact that his daughter Zelda has moved out. As you can see, all of her stuff, except for a stray rock that she left, has been gathered up, and she has moved on out to be with Wyatt now. So she's moved in with her boyfriend, Wyatt, over on Wyatt's adorable little spot and his adorable cute puppy biscuit. And don't worry, that will not be the last we see of our wonderful Zelda. I, too, feel really surreal that she's gone because she's been like our main girl for so long. She was Darian's adoptive child, the fairy foundling that he found out in the forest and took in as a baby. They have amazing stories of when she was a tiny little itty bitty fairy, like pixie baby and would fly around the, the tiny cabin he used to own while he was studying his alchemy when he was younger and just drink out. He could just put out like a bowl of honey and she could just drink out of that for days on end. So he didn't really need to learn how to feed children for real. <laughs> <laughs> he lucked out. It was actually a much easier kid to raise than the usual ones are. But yes, so Darian saw his eldest daughter move out and just yesterday, or just this morning actually, the same morning, they saw their two sons, their their unofficial twins, Thane and Caden, head off to boarding school, which I think the boys will actually totally love. And we now have it set up though. Oh, and what's this? Oh yeah, and it's their anniversary. And it's the anniversary of um, their wedding. So yeah, there's a lot going on right now. And Gina and Darian are, you know, just kind of, kind of like bittersweet. Like, oh, that was so sad. And Darian's probably thinking, oh, well, I'm getting older and it makes sense because he's getting close to elderhood again. At, it's about 13 days. And Gina's probably just like, yeah, I'm not that old. I'm going to go clone another kid because she wants to clone a sim. And she has 159 days before growing up. So it's a long time. But yeah, we're actually going to send Gina. We'll give, him, we'll give Darian a little like peck on the nose or peck on the cheek or peck on the lips. Let's see. Uh, let's give him ooh, a risky woohoo. <gasps> we'll have to watch out. I have installed the woohooer from Inras, which basically means that we have um, what I would consider ACR for Sims 3 installed. And that means, for those of you guys who are not familiar with Simlish lingo, that my Sims will now be able to perform romantic interactions all the way up to trying for baby on their own if that is in alignment with what their wants would be. So I'm pretty excited about that. I can just kind of step back and let these two actually have romantic interactions. And the game itself, the base game without the mods, your sims don't really go like super romantic at each other on their own. And I always thought that was sad because like my parents were super affectionate growing up. These guys should be super affectionate without me having to like totally direct all of it. So I'm pretty excited about this. Oh, look, we can ask him to forsake his witchitude. I didn't know witchitude was a word. Like, totally. That's, that's, uh, that's awesome. But all right, let's give him a little kiss. Hello, Darian. I know it's hard. Zelda has moved up. She's moved out. It's a lot to cope with all at once. Story progression is activating. Oh, that reminds me. I need to turn off story progression for Wyatt. I really need to turn off story progression for Wyatt, and um, in fact, I think we can do that right now. Let's see if we can learn how to do this together, my friends. Also, what the heck is that? Oh, it's an umbrella. I was like, why? What is that thing? Can I turn off story progression per household? I hope so. Interest. Uh, story progression. Um, lot options, town options, general options. Mm-hmm. All stories. Well, you guys will have to let me know. Options, households. Alter, enter households. Oh, wow, there's so many things. See, this is what I love about the Sims community is there's so much modding that can be done. And I'm just going to have to cross my fingers that nothing really happens that intensely for Wyatt and... <laughs> For Wyatt and oh, where'd the puppy go? 
I bet the puppy's still in there. I think it just doesn't show. And it does show pets. So I wonder where Biscuit went. Well, we'll have to look into that. But yeah, we'll have to just hope that Wyatt and Zelda don't end up popping out a bazillion fairy babies without me keeping an eye on them. Because I, I want to control them a little bit. And we will be moving on in the future. We will be kind of rotating between the main household and Zelda's household. And Zelda and Wyatt are actually going to buy out the land down here. And they're going to turn all of this land into a mythical creature um, kind of wilderness preserve. So that's what we're going to be working on. Or reserve. I always want to say preserve. And that always makes me think like unicorn like jams. And that's not what I'm trying to say. They're going to kind of build up a farm and they're going to focus on growing a lot of um, mythical plants. Like a lot of your death flowers and your flame fruit and um, those kinds of plants. Maybe some money trees. Mm -hmm. So they'll probably buy out all of these, maybe turn some of those lots into a nice park that people can visit to collect those items, because this is a supernatural themed town, so I'm fine with that. And we'll probably like knock down the old asylum and get rid of all these old barns and things, or at least take over like these lots over here. We'll probably move the junkyard over here at least, and then just like have this area, which is kind of close to where the fairy arboreum is belong to like the unicorns we'll have unicorn herds in here we're going to do a hippie harvest challenge uh, from simply bliss but i'm going to alter the rules to try to reflect zelda and wyatt's situation and them being uh, fairies you know you could just bloom everything so i'm going to try to come up with some really creative ways that we can try to um can try to have a fun challenge like a farming hippie challenge with those two all right, so back to these guys, though. The household has gotten much, much quieter. We have a pregnant soot wandering around. So she is indeed expecting. She's pregnant and expecting babies in the family. Looks like she's having a good time. Oh, she wants to play with, she wants to play with her mate. Or excuse me, we have a pregnant cloud, not soot. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, soot. That would be a little awkward if you were pregnant. All right, and then let's come over. Play. Aww, so cute! Goof around. Adorable. So we'll have them play together. And then, as you can see, all of a sudden Ariel is currently, for just a little bit, the only child in the household. And she's a young woman now, a nice teenager. She's working on her science. And you guys, I think she's giving us more and more hints on what she wants to do. Yes, she was playing with her magic a few days ago, so maybe she just kind of alternates, but check this out. She wants to be best friends with her mom, make a ghost potion, take a class in the science skill, research science, and earn a title in the nerd influence. So, yeah. I kind of feel like she's letting us pretty clearly know which side of the action there she's really into. But, you know, maybe it's just... Her dad just needs to show her some really cool things that she could potentially do with her magic skills. Maybe that's all it is. All right, you guys. Come on. Stop freezing up. Oh, look at how cute they are. All right, you cutie patooties. Let's have you guys come over. And we're going to have Gina. Gina, let's have you... Can, I think we can clone lots of things now. So let's have Gina clone something less dangerous, like this death flower. Let's have Gina clone that death flower upgrading to be unbreakable which we really should do because uh, Darian keeps trying to break her stuff so clone from sample well should we clone from sample or can we just clone it from a sample research sample I'm not sure how this works so let's try clone from sample and see what happens oh are you doing okay oh my gosh where'd you go sweetie Sim down! Sim down! Ariel, what happened? Where are you? Oh, okay. Ariel? There you are. Hello, sweetie. Okay, so she's doing good. She just got stuck for some unknown reason. Cats are doing well. Let's send her back downstairs to research her science. Whoops, that's tilt. What am I doing? There we go. Darian, you cannot go in there and break your wife's lab stuff. Alright, let's see. Would it be... I wonder if I could send her off. Let's send her off for a class, actually, before her dad catches on. Let's go ahead and just send her out. And science lab, attend science class. Go for it, sweetie. All right, so that's the only sample we have right now. We've got to be able to get the samples in a different way. So I wonder if you just put the like flower down. I've never done this. It's brand new and exciting. 
I think maybe we just put the flower down like over here. Can we clone the Wuhunium? Oh, here's a little end table. Oh, and it has an anchovy in it. That's right. That's the anchovy that Gina caught of perfect quality. All right, so let's try putting... Do we not have a spot I can just like set this on the ground, Gina? Really? Well, there we go. So it can just go on the ground right there for a second. All right, Mr. Anchovy. You gotta scoot over. You gotta make room. Where are you going? All right, come here, Death Flower. I wonder why it doesn't want to go on the thing. Well, we'll make this work. Mr. Anchovy, I'm gonna scoot you over. I'm gonna get out of one more slot package. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to remember. <gasps> oh, that's right, shift and click, shift and click. That's right. Mm -hmm. And up two meters, too high. Down one meter. So about eh, almost. And down. Nope, too low. And <laughs> up 10 centimeters. Up 10 centimeters. There we go. All right, Mr. Anchovy, I've got a new spot for you. Oh, come on, dude. Don't do this. Get up on the thing. Okay, fine. If you're not going to get up on the thing, then I'll put the death flower on the thing. And we'll scoot this over. There we go. Yeah, sorry, guys. Just trying to get everything lined up just right. What? What nonsense is that? Hmm? Hmm? Aw, oh, man. Alright, we'll do it like this. There we go. And let's see if Gina... Really? That's how you're gonna be? That's how you're gonna be? Mr. Anchovy, I've had enough of this. Apologies, Gina, but that was ridiculous. What? And still like this? Okay, that's just silly. That's just silly. What good's an end table I can't even use? No good at all, that's what I have to say. I wonder why the death flower won't go on table surfaces. That is the weirdest thing. I guess we're just gonna have to leave it on the ground. Well, let's get Mr. Anchovy back then. I can manage that much. There you go, Mr. Anchovy, you returned. <laughs> oh, good, at least I don't feel guilty about that. All right, so we come over here. Gina, I think we're supposed to like research this for a sample, because I know you can clone pretty much anything. Analyze. Come here, my dear. Where's your husband going? Do not sabotage her stuff, sir. Rude. Right in front of her, no less. Rude, 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 rude. Um, I'm going to make you go upstairs, and I'm going to make you do some research on your stuff. So I'm going to send him upstairs to mix some elixir so he stays out of the way and doesn't cause trouble. That's right, you failed to sabotage it, naughty man. Also, that reminds me, let's check on this aquarium full of stuff. Manage, because we have several new death fish. So we've got one death fish, two death fish, and then two more here, and a whole bunch down here. So we can actually pull out a bunch of the like black more uh, goldfish and some of the death fish, so that if he needs to use these in some of his experiments, he can. So let's see, let's put this in here. Oh, and thank you so much to the people who told me, hey Siri, did you know you could drag your inventory out like this? Because I didn't! <laughs> and that's going to make a huge difference moving forward. Wow, we have a lot of death fish. Look at all these little guys. And is that okay on the black moor fish? I want to make sure. And we have one extra luminous salamander. Is that okay on the black moor fish? Yeah. I'm just going to get all the extras out so there's room for more of them to breed. All right, yeah, we can get out the ninja stars. I think we just have the ninja stars because they're cool. And we have one extra luminous salamander that we can take out for now. And we good, we're good otherwise. Oh, we still have two extra death fish, sweet. Well, now we have pockets and pockets full of death fish. So we'll have to see what kind of potions we can make out of those. All right, Gina, back to you, my dear. Did you get a good sample? Oh, there you go. Analyze it again. It's perfect quality. And then we'll come over here and clone from sample. And I guess that's how we do it. I see. So then we can also analyze mineral samples. So that's how we can get all of the super rare material that Darian needs. Darian, what else do you need? Let's see. Midas Touch. 
is one of the uh, the highest levels, and we could send out a lot of that. The Wish Enhancing Serum. Oh, let's have her work on the Red Admiral Butterfly, so we can get lots of those guys. That would be awesome. So what do we need the Death Fish for? Oh, the Fountain of Youth Elixir. We'll get the Green Swallowtail Butterfly and the Tanzanite out. Let's see, there's the Clone Drone. Uh, here's the Bottled Mummy's Curse. Interesting. Violet Potent Enlightenment. Uh, we could send down some emeralds for her to work with. I know we needed a Death Fish for something. We needed it for, like, a really powerful potion of some kind. An elixir that definitely needed to have it used. Oh, we're missing Red Valerian Root. Hmm. Mr. Deathfish. Yeah, I don't know. That's that one. I know we needed a Deathfish for something. I'm not Nutters. I know we're missing a Deathfish. Or maybe we just didn't need it for anything. And I just thought <laughs> all this Red Valerian Root was the Deathfish. Oh, that would be so embarrassing. You know what? Let's go get some Red Valerian Root, and then we can make some potent personality adjusters to throw at everybody. Potent Cure Elixir. Mm, that would be pretty good, too. Ooh, we could make some people into a werewolf. That would be interesting. I wonder if Shaggy would want to be a werewolf from the Scooby-Doo crew. Let's make some vials of potent enlightenment for now. See, you guys, don't be sad about your kidlets yeah. having, having gone off, moved away, and gone to boarding school. There's plenty for us to still do. All right, and now we can take the death flower bush plant sample. She wants to improve her handiness skill, probably to fix all of her stuff so it's unbreaking, so Darian can't can't get in here and really mess with it. Mm -hmm. All right, Gina, look at you! We're making our very first cloned items. I'm so excited. So excited. Oh, good. And Ariel is off to take her class. All right, if the death flower works. Let's pick this back up and put it back in our inventory. Kind of nerve-wracking to like take the death flower and put it like on her. Like, here, Gina, take the take the death flower. But I guess it actually brings you back from death versus kills you. Wow, are we really cloning it? Yay! And Darian just mixed three vial or yeah, three vials of potent enlightenment. All right, Darian. Next, I'm sending you off to the elixir store to go get some red valerian root. Don't cause trouble. All right, and visit the brouhaha. And now we will just focus on Gina. Oh, so Eddie Munson? What? Eddie, who is Zelda's old boyfriend, is hooking up with Daphne from the Scooby-Doo crew. I'm not going to question it, but I'm pretty sure there's a big age difference there. Gina, Gina, is that? Oh, Gina, I think it's a death flower. I think it's a death flower. Come on, death flower. It's a death flower. Oh, my gosh. Is this really how easy it's going to be from now on? I, I agree, Gina. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. You guys are supposed to wait. Story progression. Why? Look who popped the question. Our good friend Zelda Northstar. Gladly, why Ulrich's answer was yes. Oh. Okay. So Zelda went and popped the question to Wyatt to get married without us. I'm going to have to make sure I, I figure out a way to maybe, like, opt them out of story progression. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cool. I want to make sure, like, this death flower can be cloned properly. And then next, we are going to clone a baby. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're going to clone a baby. But yeah, we're going to clone a baby. Izzy, what are you doing? Okay, she's about to make a huge mess everywhere. That's what she's about to do, but that's okay. She'll clean it up. Izzy, we're going to have a baby in a minute. Not right now. This is a death flower. Don't get confused. We've had plant babies before, but... Oh, how cool would it be if you could combine a plant sim with different flowers? Oh, we're so going to pretend to do that in the future. Dang it, Izzy. Breaking things. All right, good job, Gina. All right, last sample. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We're doing this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here we go. 
This is, this is Mortimer Goth's DNA that we've collected. Mortimer Goth himself has kind of gone downhill recently. He and his wife Bella are fighting. They have a new son, and he got kicked out. I'm saying there was a, like, mutiny at work. And Alex, who, if you recall, Alex Trucchio, who was, like, the kind of goofy, not very intelligent guy that we threw a, a personality elixir at, after we threw the personality elixir at him, he totally, like, took over the science the science empire in town and he kicked Mortimer Goth off his throne and has taken over the science institute and he now Gina is working under him <gasps> oh my goodness Gina we're entering a whole new realm of science this feels like madness but Darian can do the same thing with an elixir so we'll try not to get too creeped out oh my gosh Gina it's purple like your hair I know that's a weird thought, but that's all I can think about. <gasps> Gina Northstar just created a clone of Mortimer Goth, and it's the spitting image of the original original specimen. Oh my gosh! We have a literal test tube, baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Gina! Gina, look at her eyes. <gasps> She's so excited. I think she is thrilled. You know, Gina. She loves her babies. And this is a very, very unique specimen, for sure. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine if we could get some DNA samples from, um, if we could get some DNA samples from an alien or something like that? And in the future, we will definitely say that each plant sim is like associated with a certain plant. So we'll work on that. Oh, a clone appears. Gina Northstar can't help but cackle. Congratulations, Ariel has just improved her science skill to level three. Perfect time. Now she can analyze gems and minerals. Oh my goodness. Has decided to enrich her knowledge of science. Oh, okay, that's just that's just ironic that Ariel gained a science skill right as her brand new baby brother, a clone of Mortimer Goth, was just born. Hopefully this little guy, Gina, wants him to be as much of a genius. Oh, look at her. Oh, he sees her for the first time. Oh, my goodness. We have another baby. Gina. I'm glad you got a wish fulfilled that way. Oh, it's time to name him. Name your clone. Uh, Brian. There we go. It goes with the secret naming theme that all of Zelda and her siblings have. And it looks like a pretty good name. Hi, little Brian. Hi. Yeah, you're squeaky clean because you just popped out of a little little machine. Wow, Darian's going to have a bit of a surprise when he comes home. Oh, oh, look. He, he's an acquaintance with Mortimer Goth and Lincoln Goth, his older brother, and the whole North Star family. Oh, that's so interesting. A party animal? I would have never guessed that about Mortimer. Specimen 6,701. Oh. <gasps> Wow, he doesn't even have a family tree. Don't worry, you are like officially part of the family. We'll, we'll see if we can like adopt him somehow. Because I want him to be part of the North Star family. So I'll see if I can figure out... Oh my goodness, he's just a specimen right now. There, now he's Brian Goth. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Alright, so he is a party animal who is also athletic. He loves classical music, French toast, and the color black. Alright, little one, well, welcome! Welcome! Oh, let's play with him and snuggle him. Gina. Are you happy, Gina? Is he, does he read as one of your, like as a son? An acquaintance? That won't do. That won't do. We'll figure out if we can adopt him somehow, because he is definitely a member of the North Star family. He is Brian North Star, not Brian Goth. Because technically we didn't ask permission, so... Oh, he's cute. Oh, he's so cute. So there we go. All right, you guys. Well, when we come back, we will let Gina cuddle with her new creation because I think she's absolutely overjoyed. And we will also let uh, Darian and Gina potentially go on a date because it is their anniversary. So we'll let Izzy take care of the baby. D D Darian, why are you laughing at him? So rude, Darian. So rude. But yes, we'll let Darian and Gina go on a date uh, to celebrate their anniversary. And we will let our wonderful little Ariel meet her new scientifically created little brother, 
Yeah, now she really wants to research science. Oh, and she wants to like perform an inkblot test on people. That is so cool. But see, she also wants to perform a stunt on a broom. So I think she's still struggling to meet both of her parents' ideals on what they want for her to do in the future. And Izzy, yeah, we'll have Izzy, who's being the soccer mom right now, that's her job, is to, uh, let's send her around just clean and everything, get ready to welcome the new baby into his little crib. Oh, so exciting. But all right, guys, I will see you next time, and I will try to remember to go and make sure that no more story progression happens with Wyatt and Zelda, because we want to kind of keep them on hold. They're fairies. They're going to live forever, and we'll eventually rotate over to them. Oh, and since, uh, you know, Gina got a new baby, we're going to give Ariel her little dragon egg. So next time, we'll give Ariel her dragon egg so that she won't feel lonely in a household so suddenly emptied out where she's the new eldest. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.